I downloaded a mod that adds a bunch of different horror villains into the game. I then made them fight to death in a bracket style tournament to figure out who is the strongest horror villain. Well, let's get right to it. Here we are on the playground, and as I've explained, I have a bunch of different horror villains, which you can see on the left side of my screen, and we're gonna make them fight to the death through a bracket. So before we get started, I want to quickly show you the bracket so you know who will be going against who. So let's move over to the bracket, and here it is. As you can see, I have a bunch of different horror villains, including myself, and we're just gonna keep facing them off until there's only one left. So I'm gonna randomize this a little bit so there's no unfairness. There we go. And now, let's just get to round number one. Up first, we have the Prowler versus John Kramer. All right, here we are at round number one. On the left, we have the Prowler, and on the right, we have John Kramer. Now, as you can see, this guy has a rose, and John Kramer has nothing. That is because I have given each person the weapon that they are known for in their horror movie, and John Kramer is the dude from Saw, and all he does is he just makes elaborate traps, and besides that, he's just a dude with cancer. So, like, if you actually had to face him off in real life, you would probably be able to beat him really easily because he's like an old man who's dying of cancer. And the Prowler, I didn't even know who the Prowler was, but he apparently uses a rose to kill people or gives someone a rose or something. I don't know, dude. And with that being said, let's start round number one. Here goes the Prowler and John. Oh my God. Okay, well, John immediately came in and the Prowler's whole stomach got like freaking annihilated. I don't know what's up with that. Both men here are looking pretty damaged right now. I mean, there's quite a bit of blood already. I'm not, I have not actually ever watched the Prowler before, so I don't really know what the dude in the green's all about. Using inspect mode, we can see the Prowler has taken actually like zero damage whatsoever. And John's got some pretty bad damage, especially to his chest. Okay, he doesn't have a chest anymore, I guess. I wouldn't be surprised if John's heart stops and he just kind of collapses on the ground here. Oh, yeah, John's going down. Yeah, you... Uh yeah. I mean, that's not really a good win for you, though. You just beat an old guy with cancer. I mean, I don't... <laughs> like, I didn't really expect anything different from this first round. Well, the Prowler wins that round. Up next, we got Freddy Krueger versus Jack Torrance. All right, on the left, we got Freddy Krueger. On the right, we got Jack Torrance from The Shining. Oh, <laughs> I meant to have them fight each other. I just freaking knocked both of them out. All right, let's let round two commence. Right, and also, Freddy Krueger has his, like, claw thing as his weapon, so I don't know how well that'll work against some... Oh my god. Don't know how well the claw thing works. Jesus, dude. I mean, the whole dude just got freaking shredded. <laughs> what? Okay, it looks like Freddy's a pretty good contender to win this video so far. I mean, this dude just got, like, freaking sliced and diced like he was a cucumber. Yeah, uh, Freddy Krueger wins that round. Up next, we got Chucky versus Ghostface. Ooh. What's gonna make this round interesting is the extreme height discrepancy we're about to see. This is how tall Chucky is. I mean, he's like, what, what, are you gonna bite your ankles? I mean, Ghostface seriously might have a hard time stabbing Chucky just because of how short Chucky is. That's, this is, this is interesting. Well, let the round commence. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work. Like I said, either oh, Ghostface might get a quick, like, face shot. Like, I mean, all he has to do is swing and that's just going right in his face. No stabbing has actually happened yet. They're just kind of running into each other i'm not sure ghost oh <laughs> what kind of round was that you didn't even stab him you like actually just poked him in the eye and he died well good job ghost face yeah it was a freaking spectacular round yeah everyone give it up for ghost face up next we got Candyman versus patrick bateman this round should be interesting and i guess i should say before we get started Candyman's weapon is he has a hook for a hand and that is pretty overpowered from when i was uh setting this video up so i mean this very well could be a close round i guess we'll see though Candyman hook goes in for the swing he doesn't really do anything with his hook patrick is on the ground oh Candyman gets a good hook and like breaks his arm or something i don't even know i've never actually watched Candyman, so i don't really know what he's about oh he just got stabbed the the the, the hand though and it didn't do any damage even Oh, Patrick got Candyman in the hook hand. That's like his like weakness right there. Patrick Bateman has his sword knife thing stuck in Candyman's hand. And now they're just kind of interlocked with each other. And Candyman is just bleeding all over Patrick. I think he might get some sort of bloodborne disease. Patrick, get the knife out of his hand. What the hell are you doing? There you go, buddy. Yeah, Patrick's not doing super good right now. I'm not going to lie. I mean, he got a few shots off, but he hasn't got a fatal blow like at all. He's bleeding from a lot. Both of them are bleeding a lot right now. Like there is a lot of blood on the battlefield oh candy man i think just got stabbed in the face because he just lost like half his hp in his head i don't know patrick's bleeding out right now patrick's gotta do something quick he's gotta do something quick he's gonna die patrick you got like three seconds he literally has like no hp how's he even there we go candy man with the final knockout ko candy man wins that round 
Oh boy. Up next is Pennywise versus Mushy Poulter. Now this right here is a matchup. I also didn't know what weapon to give Pennywise because he doesn't like actually ever use a weapon. His whole thing is like striking fear into people, but I'm fearless. So like I just gave him a balloon. Meaning I think I'm about to have quite the easy round here. As we'll see, I also gave myself a sword because that's what I would love to associate myself with is a good old fashioned sword. I mean, all Pennywise can really do is just hit me. Okay, well, I'm just being stepped on right now. Get your ass up. What are you doing? there oh yeah just stab him in the butt yeah that'll that that's good this is not representative of me this is not me this is not what i would do in a fight okay i just ripped his foot off apparently what are we doing we just let him step all over us like literally just let him step all over us and now we're the wrong way why turn around turn around okay apparently we're both fighting the same direction here because that really makes freaking sense i'm doing backwards somersaults trying to hit the guy when i could just turn around this has to be the stupidest thing i've ever witnessed in my whole life freaking parry thrust parry thrust no how about we just jump forward there you go you gotta stab off of him somehow okay yeah pennywise is literally gonna bleed out from the amount of time it's just taken to finish this fight this right here is that indicative of me i just turned myself into a pretzel did you see that i freaking just turned myself into a pretzel i don't even think i deserve to win this round but i just did i don't even this thing doesn't even deserve to live i just died i won but i'm not happy about it up next is Jason Voorhees versus Sam. Now, I obviously know who Jason is, but who the hell is Sam? Like, this is just some kid who's out trick-or-treating, no? Whatever. Next round has started. I'm really curious to see if Sam can clutch this victory out. Oh my god, I guess so. This kid went for the blow, took his freaking popsicle, not popsicle, lollipop stick and just shoved it right into his heart. Oh my god, Sam is ruthless. Get this kid in the freaking Hunger Games or something, dude. You, you can take the lollipop out. I think the guy's dead. I'm, I'm scared to go against this kid. I hope I don't have to go against freaking Sam. Sam wins that round. Up next is Art the Clown versus Leatherface. Okay, now this is an interesting matchup. We have Leatherface and Art the Clown. I don't know who's gonna win this, honestly. I don't know if Leatherface's chainsaw is actually gonna work because typically with this mod that I'm using, if it has to be activated for it to work, it typically doesn't. So I don't know if his chainsaw is gonna actually work, but I guess we'll see. I mean, I hear the engine started, but like, see that the, the, the chainsaw just doesn't cut like at all. Like it's just, it's like an off chainsaw. So it's all it's gonna do is blunt force trauma. That's all it can do really. Oh my God. Okay, not sure what happened happened there. Art the Clown has officially dropped his weapon and is just on the ground right now. I think he got knocked out, honestly. And now he's just being stomped on. This is not a good look at all. Well, I guess Leatherface just freaking stabbed himself on the knife on the ground, so that's really not a good look either. Yeah, Art, like, doesn't have his weapon anymore, so, like, I don't know what he's gonna do. What are you two kissing over there? What are you guys doing? Fight. Stop making love, you two. What the hell are you guys do? Fight! I'm just having a tea time on the ground right now. Oh, Art's dying. His heart must have stopped or he's, like, internally bleeding or something because he's losing... He's losing HP quickly. Just had like a, I think he had a heart attack or something. I don't even know, but Art the Clown's out for the count. That, Leatherface is the winner, but again, it wasn't very freaking pretty. Up next is Michael Myers versus Billy Chapman. Okay, up next, we got Michael Myers and freaking Santa Claus over there. I don't know who Billy Chapman is. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments, but for all I know, it just is Santa Claus. But I guess we'll see who wins. I mean, this is a knife versus an axe battle. I don't know how well this is gonna go, but I mean, I guess we'll see. Michael Myers already got stabbed in the stomach with the axe, so not looking too good for him. The axe isn't stabbing him very deep, so it's not doing any damage. He's just bleeding everywhere. Get off the ground, Michael. What the hell are you doing just sitting there? Would well, you stop just stepping on him and kill him already? For God's sake. If he wants to sit down, then let him sit down. But at least kill him, Billy. Yeah, keep giving each other Eskimo kisses. Let's get the show on the... There you go. Stab him. Now do that again. Billy Chapman is now using the freaking force to control his axe around because it's still in his control. Oh, yeah. Let's just go for our walk. Going for our nightly walk. Gotta get our 10,000 steps for the day so we can close our rings on our Apple Watch. Like, what are we doing? These fights last so... Uh this is gonna be five hours worth of footage. I'm gonna watch the sun go down before this fight's over. I'm sure these two probably wanna watch the sun go down together or something. Get out a blanket, eh. Get some uh, half-brewed, half-and-half iced tea. Bag of Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips and have a good old day at the picnic. Your end is near. Just lay down. Lay down. Half his body's dead, but yet he still refuses to die. Just freaking die. Oh my god, that was so stupid. Billy Chapman wins, but it's not like I... Again, not pretty. <laughs> All right, now we're moving on to the slightly stronger horror villains as they've survived one round already. And we have the Prowler versus Freddy Krueger. Here we go. We got Freddy Krueger and the Prowler up the fight here. Let's see who wins. I'm taking bets on Freddy Krueger and his damn potato peelers as fingers. I guess he misses and it doesn't do anything against the Prowler. Okay, never mind. He just lost an arm. I mean, Freddy Krueger... Oh my god, how is this even fair? The damn green giant just got sliced into 15 different pieces in an instant. The Prowler wins that round by, I don't know, a freaking long shot. 
Up next is Ghostface versus Candyman. Honestly, I think this round's gonna be really close. Just, just my gut feeling says this round's gonna be really close. I think Ghostface got stabbed. Oh, that's a stab right into like the chest. Ghostface on a clock right now because his heart just got stabbed. Yeah, he is dying quick. Candyman with a quick win here. Ghostface is going down and that's game already. That's how you win. Candyman wins that round. No, it's me versus Sam. That kid scares me. All right. Well, this should be an interesting round. I'm actually a little bit scared of Sam. Kill the kindergartner. Quick. There we go. Right in the foot. Good start, me. There we go. That's what we're talking about right there. No, 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 no. Get that candy knife away from you. Oh, I got stabbed in the femur. Oh, that was almost a really good hit. No. Well, what? Yeah, get your face real close to him so he can stab you in it. Let's not freaking fling the kid high in the sky. Yeah, get your face as close to the weapon as possible, me. Oh my god, I just got stabbed in the heart. You know what? I deserve to die for how I'm fighting this round. I'm fighting like a freaking jerk off right now. All right, yeah, Sam freaking wins because I keep putting my face right in the... Sam, I am rooting on your downfall so hard. It's unbelievable. This damn kindergartner student's gonna freaking solo everybody. Up next is Leatherface versus Billy Chapman. Can this round go quickly? I feel like whenever we have a round with these two, they take way too freaking long. And here we go again with this. Someone just do something where this gets over within like 30 seconds. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, Billy. Right in the freaking dome. That's what, yes, yes. Good one, Billy. Congratulations, Billy. All right, now we're moving on to the quite strong people as these guys have survived two rounds now. And up first, we have the Prowler versus Candyman. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Freddy Krueger won that round. I'm sorry. Okay, now we have Freddy Krueger versus Candyman. Let's see who wins. It's just no, it's just no contest every freaking time. It's no contest. There's not even a point. He also freaking like tossed. What even? What body part is this? He just freaking played lacrosse with Candyman's other arm. I mean, Freddy Krueger wins that round, and I am clicking his name. Up next is Sam versus Billy Chapman. I think you guys know who I want to win, but I guess we'll see who does actually win. Okay, immediately Sam just ducks under the axe because he's 4'11". Sam has now somehow gotten the high ground and is doing a freaking jump jump attack, possibly trying to get a crit. How are you killing him this quickly already? Billy Chap is almost already dead because freaking this kindergartner took martial arts when he came out of the womb. This kid doesn't even know his multiplication table, and he's killing a bunch of- <laughs> Well, Sam wins already. Sam wins. Oh, it's finale time. Freddy Krueger versus Sam. Freddy, I need you to win so bad. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of old school style video. Please subscribe and like, comment your ideas, because I do. Do your ideas, and let's see if Sam can take the win, or Freddy will. Quick side note, you should also join the Discord server, link in the description. Freddy, please freaking just, just slice his head right off. Annihilate the kid. Swing it. Yeah! Yeah! And that's a win for Freddy. Taking home the cake, Freddy. Give me a hell yeah, Freddy.